Hello everyone, it's Tana. Welcome back to the Rabbit Hole Designs YouTube channel. Today we're working with the latest release. We have the caffeinated koala, caffeinated llama, and the caffeinated vulture. I believe there's two more, caffeinated porcupine and the caffeinated ostrich, which I do not have in the video. But these are the ones that I received, and I have to say that vulture, he's my favorite. I love him and his crabby demeanor. So I cut and colored a couple images ahead of time. I also stamped out a few more, some on some Heffy Doodle alcohol coloring cardstock, and a couple on some Bristol and Nina. And then I decided, at this point in time I didn't have a lot of them, but I wanted to do a group photo, shall we say, of caffeinated critters that I did have. So I'm starting out with my masking here and I wanted the koala to be front and center so he gets stamped out first. And then it was just a matter of laying them all out. So the reindeer is off to the right. I also had to pay attention to which direction they would be facing. So that kind of determined my layout as well. You can't see all of every cr critter but that's okay. And I did kind of put the mirror cat lower towards the bottom of the card because I wanted him to look like he had popped out of his hole to say hello. And I know there's a little bit of a space on the right hand side, but that's because I didn't have another one that faced in the opposite direction. But that's okay, we'll make it work. I, between when I made this video and the voiceover now, I have purchased more caffeinated critters and I would like to do a whole framed project so you may see that coming up in the next few months. So now I'm going to do the big reveal. I also used the, what is that, the chemical compound uh, sign for coffee that comes with every caffeinated critter. If you know what that's officially called, you can leave it down in the comments below because I have no idea. Would you believe I majored in chemistry in high school? And I've forgotten all of that stuff because I never used it afterwards. So we're going to do some alcohol coloring, alcohol marker coloring, excuse me. But I'm not going to run you through the entire card. I think before I publish this video, I will go through and put the, oh no, I might not. I know that I can't see the caps right now, but I know when you guys are watching this video, you will be able to see the caps, which is why I left them on screen. And for any card or any marker where, like the Copic Chows, where you can't see the number on the end of the cap, I will either put it on the screen or I show you ahead of time. So that's how we'll do it. Now, some of the boxers, that, well, all of the boxers that some of the caffeinated critters are wearing have print on them. I added some black dots to the giraffe's robe. The reindeer's robe already has candy canes on it. I believe I left Mr. Koala's robe um, just solid colored. But I do like the colors I used for that. I think it turned out really manly shall we say but I did have fun with this I kind of wish that I had um, thought about the background before I drew in the grass because I would have made it wallpaper inside of a room rather than being outside so that the coffee compound symbol made more sense as wallpaper but I still like the way it turned out. I just put some very, very light clouds in the background, which you will see a little bit later. But I added some Jelly Roll Glitter Pen to the bee's wings after I colored them. I also added to almost all of the eyes, I think pretty much all of them, a black and a white Jelly Roll Glaze Pen. And some of the critters will have colored uh, irises? Is that what you call the colored part of your eye? Guys, I can't think today. I don't know the names for anything. Um, some of them do have colors around their eyes, so around their pupils. I believe it is irises. 
Anyway, moving on. Um, when I was coloring the koala, I kind of wanted him to look like he had long fur. So I kind of flicked my markers. And I also, after I was done coloring him, added a white colored pencil and flicked that in among the colors of his fur. Even into his ears because, you know, koalas have those long tufts of fur coming out from in front of their ears. They're very large, cute ears. I'm also really happy with the way the vultures colors turned out. There are, you wouldn't believe how many different colors there are for vultures and turkey vultures, depending on where they are located. I colored him to look more like the vultures, turkey vultures that I can find in my area. And the chameleon I thought turned out pretty well, pretty good as well. I like the colors I used for him. I added a little bit of embellishment to his belly in the form of long kind of triangles. And I kind of used, tried to use colors that would blend well together so I could change some of the colors on his skin. And we're pretty much almost done with the card already. Uh, if you guys want to skip the coloring, maybe I will put a skip to up on the screen, which you have, will have already seen it, so it doesn't make sense to say it now, but for anybody who doesn't want to watch the coloring, because we do have two more cards in this video. It's a little bit longer than some of my other videos, but not too much longer. I love the color green I used for his body. I think it turned out well. So now I have my clouds and my coffee stencil and my cottontail bitty blending brushes. Did I say it right this time? And some hot tub, I believe. And I'm just going in very faintly to put some clouds in there. And you can tell I added the masks back on so I didn't have to fiddle with going around the colored images. I probably could have with how tiny that brush is, but I just didn't feel like it. So now we're going to get ready to mount this onto a slimline panel or a slimline card base and add our sentiment. Now it's a bigger card with a lot of critters, so I wanted a bigger sentiment. And so I'm going to use the Nicole upper and lower alpha dies. And I spelled out, oh, I didn't use the upper, sorry. I used all lowercase. I spelled out hashtag alert, which I believe is a sentiment that comes with the caffeinated uh, meerkat. And I also doubled them up so each letter has a light gray shadow or a darker gray shadow. I play around with the colors on this um, sentiment so many times. Just glued those all on straight as I could and put in the inside ca uh, caffeine because adulting is hard, along with some of the coffee beans that came in that sentiment stamp set, which I will have listed down below for you. So moving on, we have our, our already colored caffeinated vulture here. And I colored him on a piece of Nina 110 pound card sack. And I made my own little stencil template with an oval infinity die so I could block off the rest of the card here. And I'm using the broken glass stencil from the rabbit hole designs. And I believe this is over coffee and sand castle. And I'm just going to, I wanted it to look like he kind of had a section of cracked dry desert land behind him. And I think this turned out really well. I like this card. It's probably one of my favorites in a while. And I mastered, if you noticed, I almost, I set this all up and almost forgot to mask him off. I caught it at the last second and took everything off, put the mask on, and covered him back up. That would have sucked, guys, if I would have forgot to put the mask on. So now that we have that all ink blended and I went with the darker color around the edges there, I'm using this Simon Says Stamp uh, like grid transparency. You use it to line up your sentiments. And even though I used it, 
I tried to realign it after I removed the transparency transparency sheet on the misty door. I can't speak today. And I ended up doing it crooked. So we're going to do a sentiment strip to go over that. So much for the one layer clean and simple card. And I just placed that right over it, glued it flat down. And then I used a piece of this glazed chestnut pearlescent cardstock as a mat for my card. Popped it up on some foam tape and added it to a black card base. And then I'm using some of these. They're coffee colored sequins from one of my packages from the rabbit hole designs and I put little tiny diamonds in the center of those that were also in that sequin packet and that's it for that card now for the third card we're gonna use this new color from Catherine Pooler Uptown and the Amanda stencil and originally I wasn't gonna do this whole panel I was only going to do a section but I fell in love with the color so much that I went ahead and covered the entire panel, but I didn't do it evenly. I wanted sections of darker and lighter color. And then I sprayed the entire thing with three different kinds of sparkle spray. I believe it's Imagine Crafts Sparkle, and then Frost, and then Hero Arts, or Avery L's Clear Sparkle Spray. A lot of S's for me. So after that dried, I took the stencil off. If I would have been smart, I would have sprayed that stencil with some water and put it on another piece of cardstock, but I didn't even think of it, and I washed all that goodness away. Now I'm taking the Hello dye from uh, the Rabbit Hole Designs, and I used the shadow and two pieces of mirrored cardstock, glossy black, and then like a turquoise that would match his robe. And I used a piece of purple cardstock from my stash, as the mat so that would also match with his robe and then I just glued everything on nice simple card hello down in the bottom right and the koala off to the left and added some purple gems up from the word hello and then one off on the bottom left where his feet are and that's it for this card guys the only thing that disappoints me about this card is you guys cannot see on camera how sparkly it actually is the photos no matter how many i took did not do it justice so make sure you comment down below don't forget to sign up for the rabbit hole designs email and we will see you in the next video bye bye for now